Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Kerbalism. In this episode we are going to attempt to fix up our two stations which have been in disrepair because we've been time warping through the Eve probe and Duna probe but I would like to rescue some Kerbals in order to hopefully get an extra engineer. Right now we have one engineer and uh, I think that's not enough. Besides I need to fund this repair mission and rescuing the Kerbals would be a good way to fund that. So, um, Ribfurt from orbit of Kerbin. Let's try that. And our other station is in orbit of Minmus. So, uh, Defen Kerman uh, stranded in orbit around Minmus. Hopefully, one of them is an engineer. If not, we'll just send another mission out with our one engineer, uh, Bill. And uh, hopefully, that will take care of uh, some of the, our business. Oh, there's another. Rescue Sherber from Orbit of Minmus. Well, the vehicle I've got planned only has room for... Well, actually, we could just leave one of them on the seat, but then we won't get paid. Uh, all right, yeah, we can't rescue Sherber. Well, we can do it late. Uh, do, we can rescue Sherber later. Science Day from space around Minmus. I suppose eventually, yeah, we should be able to do that. So I think that gets us enough funds to cover our mission. I have already built our mission. Um, what we should add to this is probably antennae. Because we're not going to have Kerbals in initially. So otherwise it doesn't need it. That's expensive, but we are going to bring it back. We are going to bring it back, darn it. Uh, hopefully it'll be safe. I feel like I should put it on down here, but we're going to dump this, this service module down here. So uh, going over the spot, of course, is the Gemini capsule replica. Not quite the same on top, but basically in principle. Two parachutes, a probe core, because again, we're launching this without anybody on board. Uh, small supply container there. Uh, we've got uh, oxygen containers here. We've got life support. Uh, that's a little bit of an expense. Uh, having them there. I mean, they're 2,000 apiece. I'd like to recover this. I'll redesign it sometime so that we can recover those. But for now, we'll go with how it is at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got them tuned to humidity and water recycling. And we've got RCS for docking purpose, purpose, uh, purposes, solar panels, and a spark engine at the bottom. Here, we've unlocked the poodle engine and we've got a stage there and at the bottom we have the skipper engine supported by two SRBs so yep that's the idea and we're going to launch this without anybody and I think it has plenty enough Delta V to take care of the two rescue missions and hopefully bring our Kerbals to the station assuming stations assuming that one of them is an engineer okay on that note, and uh, also noting that we have half our ablator there. Okay, yep, let's go. Yeah, I think uh, a minor, very thin service module section between the capsule and the heat shield would be a good idea so that we could recover the ECLSS units, but not this time. So let's take a look at where our Kerbals are. Ribfurt is one of them, right? Yes. So let's just target that. Uh, seems to be in a very manageable orbit, no big problems. And um, around Minmus, let's just see the orbit that our other Kerbal's in, Sherber and Defen. Well, they're in more complicated orbits. And there's our station, so um, we'll get to them and then we'll get to our station. Okay, uh, but it is not an inclined orbit that our Kerbin rescue needs to happen in, so we can just go to a normal 90 degree heading and let's get information out. Well, rendezvous information is important this time. Okay, and launch. I've just recently been launching things in Realism Overhaul, so I have to. Make sure I don't do realism overhaul things with this. 
Okay, separation. Boosters have separated successfully. I think uh, this stage will just barely fall shy of orbit, so we'll get to deorbit it and finish off with the Poodle. And then the Poodle has tons of fuel, but we can't really keep this Poodle stage if we want to dock with anything. So we're going to do the two rescues, and then we're going to try and dock to the Minmus station without this stage. Hopefully we can crash this stage into Minmus to dispose of it. The Kerbin orbit station we'll leave to Bill, I think. We will send Bill up to that. Okay, that's basically ideal. Separation. And uh, we'll coast to Apoapsis. The Apoapsis we've got here right now is about the same as the orbit of our target. So, not Philippe derelict. Unfortunately, our target's on the opposite side of Kerbin from us right now. So, we're probably going to have to boost up to a higher orbit on one side, but we'll keep the 86.9 where it is. Well, they changed the look of the Poodle stage. Sort of looks like two LR-91s now. Uh, the second stage of the Titan rocket, which only had one nozzle, so that's why I say two. But it sort of has that look to it. Okay, let's see how that helps with timing with our target, but first we need to uh, separate off these panels so that we can use our solar panels. This time I did clamshell them. I should have dumped them before making orbit, darn it. Okay, we are recharging. And we've got a hefty amount of electric charge here. So that should be good too. Oh, uh, might as well tune the antennae. Okay, wow, just uh, waiting in orbit. Uh, we kept at this apoapsis and we waited in orbit and it turned out to be just right. Close approach distance, 789.7 .7 meters without any further adjustments. So, yeah, that was interesting. Okay, for once, I'm hoping for someone that isn't a pilot. Okay, that was a little bit too much. Beats me how they keep getting stranded out here in these crew cabins. At least the capsules, I understand. Okay. Rivert, what are you? Engineer! We hit the jackpot. Oh. Okay, RCS, jetpack on, jetpack on. Okay, grab and board. Okay, that's one. Um, you know, we don't have to dock at our Kerbin Orbit Station for Ripfer to get a look at it. I mean, it's right there. We just need to go up a little bit. I mean, right now the Poodle stage has way too much Delta V to just go over to Minmus and rendezvous with the other Kerbals we need to rescue. Look at this uh, sort of steampunk sort of goatee thing Ripford Scott going. Well, that'll do it. Look at that close approach distance. No problems. Still gonna be a whole lot of extra Delta V, but we just have to hang out for one more orbit and then we'll have a rendezvous with our Kerbin orbit station. Um, Ripford's gonna have to EVA to it to check things out. Fortunately, we have plenty of mod propellants, as you can see. Full of shielding, too. It's quite a luxury craft, this thing. I mean, nothing said we couldn't put them to work right away, right? Okay, 10 meters again, except this time 10 meters away from a station, so pretty darn close. I mean, I could probably dock it, but let's not uh, risk anything. We do still have to add major solar arrays to uh, the station, now that we have those unlocked. Okay, 
But I think we should check out what we can repair first. Or if I need KIS and KAS. Okay, 15 millimeters per second sounds good enough to me. Okay, EVA please. Rivers already got one star. Let's check out that hitchhiker storage container first. That seems very important. Oh, uh, this one's permanently busted, the ECLSS module. But again, we have four of those. I wonder if there's a way to do preventative maintenance. That would be nice. They got a little readout on their jetpacks. Never really noticed that. Hmm. How close do I have to get to this thing? Do I have to go inside to repair it? Oh wait, uh, repair ECLSS, inspect treadmill. Can I inspect treadmill from? Oh, it will keep working for some more time, it says. How about uh, the solar panel? Repair solar panel? Oh geez, well, that's easy enough. Well, I, I don't think we need Bill at all, do we? Oh, one of its uh, Twitch engines needs a repair. Repair engine? This might be too easy. I think in USI you need like repair parts or spare parts or something. Or was that dang it? I, I One of those needed stuff like that. This one is busted beyond repair. Yeah, we can't do anything with it. We're pretty darn close and it's not giving me any options. So, okay. Um, one thing I wanted to do was I saw a antenna, longer range antenna that wasn't extended. We should just use, we should extend that. Just in case we need to move this for some reason. Uh, inspect, extend. Should we inspect the engines? I suppose so. Inspect. Pract practically new, it says. Yeah, but another one of them was busted and it was about the same age. Call out the solar panel. Inspect. Okay. I don't know if inspections can avert the need for repairs. Do we need to inspect docking ports? Inspect solar panels. Practically new, yeah, but one of them got busted. I have to make sure not to ram the Kerbal into the solar panel. That would probably wreck it. Um, let's extend that antenna. Inspect. Oh, oh, oh. Reaching its operational limits. Okay, well, but... Can we do some maintenance on it to help it out? I mean, it didn't give me that option. Okay, well, um, maybe we should check out the stuff inside this hitchhiker storage container. Uh, inspect treadmill. Reaching its operational limits. Practically new on the life support, though. Well... Treadmill's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> I hope. We should occupy the station as soon as possible. We'll send another mission up for that. Okay. Well, I, I'm satisfied that we've done what we came to do here. Okay. Well, for, for this ECLSS, that'll require KIS and KES to take it off and put a new one on. But for now, the station is in reasonable enough shape, I think. Oh, we've got an Eclipse. Well, that could be problematic for power, but we've got a lot of storage on this. So, um, let's clear away from the station. That'll do the trick. And let's unthrust limit because we're going to want to transfer out to Minmus. Okay, node please. 
and life support wise we should have plenty we can see that uh, food water and oxygen well, oh, well he's just uh, got on board like an orbit ago so I guess he isn't a time to eat but yeah seems to be okay uh, well that's a little bit further up than I wanted but we can correct that once we get there so let's just go straight for Defense Wreck. Okay, so we'll have a tangency there. And we will make orbit. Whoa, not that much. And that's about right. 1.7 kilometers will be fine. Relative speed 7 meters per second. So basically a 63.3 meter per second burn there. And then orbital burn of 200 or so sounds good to me okay with that done let's uh well we're oriented fine for the sunlight we'll verify exactly how much we have we've got 156 days of food 120 days of water and 122 days of oxygen there's extreme radiation right now but we've got extreme shielding So he's not collecting any radiation right now. No stress yet. That'll increase. It's still a cramped, cramped area and comfort is poor. Interesting sort of trajectory that we see here as we enter Mimesis SOI. Well, it's one of those cases where I think I packed way too much Delta V. Okay, let's make orbit here in the particular way we wanted to for the rendezvous. And uh, from here, we won't judge using the maneuver node. We'll just take a look at what MacJeb says up there. Mm, five kilometers isn't what I was hoping for, but looks like our inclination is more than I was expecting. That'll be fine. We'll uh, adjust that at the ascending node. Well, just hovering without docking worked pretty well for us, and I don't want to dump the poodle stage after all. So maybe when we try to rendezvous with the Minimus station, we'll keep it still. Defin is still alive. Very good. Oh, uh, no more food in Defen's shipwreck? No more water, but it'll add it soon, right? No more oxygen? No, please. Okay, now it's telling us to relax. Jeez. It's gonna be like that every time, I guess. I did update Kerbalism, by the way. Oh, we were supposed to do science around Mimus, right? Yeah. Okay, um, I don't suppose the crew report would be anything new. No, how about an EVA report? Whoa, we've got scatter issues or something. Um, EVA report, also not new. Do not remove helmet, just board. Oh. Ah, it's a lander can. Well, that at least makes some sense. What is Defin? Defin is a scientist, but well, that is all right. EVA? Oh, that issue. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Yeah, EVA is dangerous stuff, visually speaking. All right, we want to rendezvous with our station and do some repairs. Okay, so we need to actually flip our orbit because turns out the rescue was going retrograde and we need to go prograde. Ooh, that's pretty convenient right there. Uh, let's try and keep that sort of situation. Four kilometers seems like the best we can do there. Interesting that it's just 96.3 meters per second, but then again, our orbital velocity is only 64, so to flip it around, Guess it's just not that much. Basically, we're like uh, stopping dead in the middle of orbit and then flipping to the other side. 
and not flipping much to the other side because we just need a low orbit there. The burn time indicator does pay attention to the throttle limiting, uh, thrust limiting. So it changes 26 seconds, and then when I unthrust limit, 5 seconds. Flip. That's a pretty big gap. It didn't look like that much of a gap when we were high up, but it's a big gap. Let's fix that. Well, this says the closest approach distance is much closer. Then the map view admits. Okay, that should be good. Here it says 1.8. That says 0.7 kilometers. Okay, slow down. You know what? Maybe I should just dump this in dock. Let me check the crew port. Of course, we've done it before. Um, maybe if we have a scientist EVA. Uh, EVA report? Well, we're going to keep that and transmit, darn it. Got to get something. Rendezvous maneuver around Minmus has been achieved. Very good. Science data from space around Minmus accounted that. All right. Should we just dump this and dock? It's not that much anymore. Okay, uh, so I'll be retrograde briefly. Okay, so that stage will crash into Mimis. Separation. And mission. RCS sidestep. It's very maneuverable. Sort of Gemini-like. The, the hot rod of space. The Gemini was. Okay, but we do have to find a docking port to dock at. No, this is not what I wanted to focus on. Why is it only switching me from this to this? Shouldn't that be an option? There we are. Okay, um... Ooh, what happened here? That's not right. Um... We've got the engines. Uh, that... Did something blow up or something? I mean, why is that even like that? I don't know. It doesn't have RCS. Uh, can it point at repair one? Um, this port would be fine. I think it's reaction wheels may be bust. No, it seems to be able to roll. But this is a problem. Is it even safe to dock with it? I don't know. This reaction wheel is busted permanently, it looks like. But then it still has the torque from here. Okay, well, that'll help. But boy, this is a mess. Well, if there was ever a case for... KIS and KES, disassembling this part would probably be the thing. Yep. But is that a glitch or was that supposed to happen? That I do not know. How is everybody doing otherwise? 4% uh, stress for rib Ribfort. Uh, all clear for Defen. 1% radiation for Ribfort despite the shielding. So, shielding is not perfect. Wait, that tank looks like it's on properly now. What the heck, anyway? What are you doing to me, Kerbal? It looks like 1.6 isn't free of bugs. Okay, we have docked. No more nitrogen in Minmus Station 1. Why not? Boy, the nitrogen is really going down. No, um... Can we not have nitrogen pass through our uh, our capsule into the station? Oh, jeez. I guess it was it just ran out because nitrogen leaks all the time. We should have delivered some bonus nitrogen. Ooh, 
That solar panel definitely looks like a malfunction. Uh, the tank looks back to normal. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, well, it's time for Ribford to do Ribford's thing. Carefully, without bumping any solar panels. Uh, oh, 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 careful, careful. It's a very sensitive place here. Repair solar panel. Duct tape, is there something it can't fix? Uh, I, I won't challenge that for now. <laughs> Apparently duct tape isn't the best thing for many situations in space. But anyway, don't tell anyone. The legend of duct tape must, must remain intact, I suppose. We'll leave further inspections to Bill. We'll just do the repairs. Okay, that solar panel looks to be all right. What else? Anything else? Well, we can't fix the reaction wheel, unfortunately. Let's just double check that there's nothing that can be done about that. Okay, grab and board. All right, the job is done. We've repaired what we can repair, and we'll have to get more nitrogen up here. Let's see, has it fully pressurized? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing a very good job of pressurization. Our nitrogen is leaking like crazy. Can we, like, just depressurize that? Depressurize that. Where did, where did all my, is there a persistent nitrogen leak? Because, like, where is my nitrogen going anyway? It shouldn't just be eliminated. Anyway, the station is going to be depressurized. Wow, it's really all gone. It's still leaking. We better dock, uh, undock right now. This is not a safe situation. We're going to lose all of it. Uh, yeah, it's going away pretty fast still. What the heck? Well, now it has to pressurize this. We need to have a way of the docking ports, like, not being open <laughs> initially. That, that was, that's something I needed. But uh, hopefully, once it's pressurized, it'll be all right. Will it be enough to pressurize this? I don't know. I don't think so. Which is uh, weird. Which is weird. nine minutes I don't know there's something fishy about all this it shouldn't have been like that well we'll have to send a whole lot of nitrogen hopefully it's not gonna condemn our kerbals in any way to not have nitrogen as a buffer gas they'll still have oxygen and, and plenty of it It's weird that pressurization seems to be only with nitrogen. We have a nitrogen mishap and we need to return as soon as possible. Okay, well that should roughly do the trick. Someone go fix that leak. There's a leak? I mean, we can fix the leak if there is a leak, but it doesn't color it yellow. Did I get a message to that effect? Yeah, uh, I think, I don't know, it just takes a whole lot of nitrogen to pressurize the thing. In fact, I think it's more nitrogen than we could possibly carry in this. Since it seems to tick two in the hundredth place of percentage for every one of nitrogen, and if you go down to zero percent on the habitat uh, on the pressure that means you need 5,000 nitrogen to pressurize it an important thing to note considering we're gonna have to carry nitrogen for the station so let me just keep this up but uh, 
once we're out of nitrogen, will it like immediately depressurize or steadily go not, uh, go down in percentage? It looks like the answer is it just holds there. Hmm. Okay. And is this a huge problem or just a problem problem? It is ticking down on the pressuri pressurizing thing. But, oh, I passed a node. Shoot. Okay, now we can head out. Node. Gotta watch the station. Close approach distance is already pretty close and we're sort of pointed at it. Okay, that's 24 kilometers. That's probably a little bit too low. Ah, I should have just used the RCS. It already raised it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, we are on the way back. Hopefully the fact that we don't have any nitrogen is not going to kill us this time. It's a long trip back since it's Minmus. It's still nine days. Uh, Ribfurt Kerman is losing his mind. Concentration is becoming a problem. Hold out there. 33% uh, stress and he's losing his mind? 24% stress for Deafen. I hope they don't kill each other. Um, you know, you, you can just relax, you know, you're not on duty or anything, right? Because we've got a probe core. Well, hopefully we can just bring them back. I mean, the probe core can control the vessel, as long as River doesn't, like, destroy it or anything. Not to give anybody any ideas. River looks fine. Look at him in the picture. Doesn't look like he's losing his... Well, okay. He may be laughing maniacally. It's tough to tell sometimes. They are Kerbals. Service module off. Service module off. Gonna change the pressure on the parachutes. And here we go. Well, I have learned something about nitrogen. That's gonna be a little bit tedious, carrying nitrogen all the time. Okay, we have communications back. Everything looks good. Hopefully we're not over mountains. Let's check. Surface info, water. Always good. Parachute pre-deployment pre is fine. Okay, and splash down and recover. Okay, whoa, the space center is underwater, but we got recovery of a vessel returned from suborbital flight on Minmus. Uh, that's only because we had to dump the stage, but 17.5 science, and we didn't land anywhere near the KSC. But Ribford and Deffen are ready to go. They have gained a lot of XP. Still on level 1 though, but it's something. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, uh, so it was technically just one mission in this episode, but it was a significant mission. We did our first repairs ever with Kerbalism, and uh, we rescued two Kerbals. So yeah, next time we have to do something more with our Minmus station, but maybe we'll do something a little bit different as well. Yep, we, all, we also have to add a nitrogen shipment to each of our stations. It's getting to be one of those maintenance things. But we'll see. 